we are not involved in arrest and rendition of IPOB leader in Ambikanu from Kenya Interpol. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to these headlines we brought for you all this morning. As our headline for today says that we are not involved in arrest and rendition of IPOB leader in Amdikanyu from Kenya, says Interpol. It is stated here that A top source has revealed to Sahara reporters that he, in Amdikanu, was not arrested in London, nor anywhere in the United Kingdom. Diplomats confirmed that Kanu was picked up somewhere in Africa. The family of IPOB are very unhappy. Apparently, they have known about the trailing and arrest for some time. Comforted with how early Interpol arrested Kanu in Kenya, Umar said, Believe you, believe you me. I want you, I want to tell you, I don't know that you are, t- I don't know what you are talking about. You are bringing an issue that Interpol is, that Interpol is not aware of. I don't know and I don't know what to talk about. The issue of Kano or who brought him back to Nigeria. I am not aware. I am not aware what, how, how he was brought back to Nigeria or how he came back to Nigeria. Interpol is not aware of this. We stated this long time ago and we made it categorically clear. Speaking further, Umar said that they are what we call police to people relationship, international police cooperation, and it does not necessarily bring interpol. If one police and another exchange that a suspect is running from them, they can have an international police cooperation. And that is out of the scope of interpol. Well, however, if a notice is given to an individual, like blue notice when the inmates in Queenie prison escape. We did a biometric capture of those suspects and we shared it with the international community and we shared it with our law enforcement agencies and many of them were apprehended because they have their biometrics. In the issue of red notice, where red notice is issued under the federal courts, that issue that notice of arrest, that is warrant of arrest for such international, for such international, and to go to the Interpol, and we will process, and we will process it, and look at charges, and then issue a red notice. On that red notice, we will bring back the suspect to face justice, because all the 960, all the 996 countries will be looking for that individual. And that is all we have under this headline for us today, which says that we were not involved in arrest and rendition of IPOB leader in Amdikanu from Kenya, says the Interpol. Like how the headline is being said today, the Interpol is saying that they were no way involved in the arrest or rendition of Inamikanu in any way. They were no way involved in, in the arrest and rendition of Inamikanu. They stated that it was, it was also by the Vice President of the Interpol Africa, 
who is Gaba Uma. He made this denial while speaking on an interview with the New Central TV. He said it all when he was speaking in an interview in the New Central TV. And the International Crime Police Organization, that is the Interpol, has said it didn't participate in the rendition of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Brafia, IPOB, Ibn Adikanu, in from Kenya 2021, meaning that they were not part of any squad or any teams that, that went to arrest or they were going to be arrested in Amdekano in 2021 from Kenya. Yes, from Kenya. So they, 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 said, they said all the denial was given by the vice president, that was Gaba Uma, during the interview that he was, was doing, during the interview on the New Central TV. And they said, they, they said that President Muhammad Bari, governor, like had in June 21, announced the arrest of Kanu in Kenya through the help of Interpol. That was that was one of the questions that they asked in that. But President Muhammad Bari announced the help the arrest of Eli Kanu through the help of the Interpol. And what was now um, what is now um, concluded that 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 this man said in the in the news say that I don't know I don't I don't know what you're talking about and I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to talk about the issue of Kanu who brought him back to Nigeria because he said that I'm not aware how he was brought back to Nigeria or how he came back to Nigeria saying that Interpol did not have any any form of relationship with that kind of case. They don't know how he kind of came back to Nigeria but they, what they know is that they were not part of the arrest that made him the kind of they were not part of the uh, they are not part of the arrest squad that went and picked up in the canoe. That is what he, the Itapu fisherman, just seen. Seeing that if you look at the other fugitives that had been brought to face justice in Nigeria, they have been linked to those who were involved in Itapu. Yes, but speaking further, Umar said that they, they are what we call police to people relationship. That international police cooperation, and it does not necessarily bring Interpol. Saying that if one police and another police exchange that a suspect is running from them, they can have an international police cooperation, and that is and that is out of the scope of Interpol. That is out of the scope of Interpol. That means maybe they had an international police, yeah, um, police um, police relationship with the Kenyans with Kenya police that brought back the capture of Inamdikano. But this saying that Interpol were in no way involved in arresting Inamdikano. What do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment in the comment section. And don't forget to leave a like on this.